Congressman George Santos left a lawmaker's office with an infant in his arms this afternoon. And when asked if the baby was his, he said, not yet. And that was moments before he unleashed a tirade on a Jewish American man. I want him out of here! Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. George Santos had an utter meltdown this afternoon at work. While holding a two-month-old baby, the 23-count indicted congressman initiated a shouting match with these gentlemen who he says are pro-Palestinian protesters. Uh, officers, officers, this is the gentleman that was accosting me when I had a two-month-old baby in my hands. You came in my personal space. And then I immediately stepped away. Congressman Santos, what are you doing? What are you doing to call for the end of Israeli? What are you doing about terrorists destroying Israel? What about the terrorists from Hamas that have tried to defend in this building? It's a war. It is a war that you are in this building stepping up for terrorists. You are a terrorist sympathizer. You are human. No matter what angle you observe it from, the situation is beyond cringe. That's what it is. And the next time he tries to accost me with a child in my hand, I want him out of here. He's an animal. I am holding a child. He is a f***ing terrorist sympathizer. Who? You can go look at the video. Mr. Santos, who? What happened? Congressman Santos, who? The gentleman back there. He's a terrorist sympathizer that has no business in this building. What is happening in Israel is abhorrent. What is happening to the people of Israel should not be defended. Nobody defending Hamas has any business in this building, whether you're elected, whether you're a civilian. It is a disgrace that we allow people to parade that kind of thought in here. This all went down in the Longworth House office building on Friday afternoon. The man Santos called human scum is reportedly named Shabad Singh, a Jewish American who's critical of Israeli policies. Given that Santos has a history of exploiting the Jewish faith and people in hopes of collecting a coin or two. I'm Catholic, <laughs> but I'm also Jewish. Well, it seems evident to me that he is not sincere about his support for Israel, but seeking to leverage it to his benefit now. While we don't know these Jewish men Santos claim accosted him, it's intellectually dishonest to accuse them of supporting Hamas simply because they criticize Israel's government. In fact, a substantial number of Israelis do not align with Benjamin Netanyahu and didn't even before the terroristic attacks that were waged by Hamas last week. All said, Santos gets no points from me as it's more than likely that he's simply seeking to capitalize on the suffering of the Israeli people at this time. But those are just my thoughts. You let me know yours in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.